All right, your next bucket pool, ladies and gentlemen. 60 seconds going to Chloe LaBranch. The train keeps rolling. Chloe LaBranch. Here she is. Make some noise for Chloe, everybody. <clears throat> I, I hope you guys don't mind if I start with a, a light joke. Uh, okay, cool. I, um, I went home with this guy the other night and he started raping me. <laughs> But then I looked up and I saw he had a Yale diploma hanging over his bed, and I was like, nah, he's fucking me. <laughs> I was, uh, thank you so much. I, uh, I, uh, I was thinking about the, um, the women who were fucking the hijackers in 9-11. I feel like women always give men the benefit of the doubt, you know? They're probably like, ah, oh, they're on a boy's trip. <laughs> All right. I, we know who did it, relax. <laughs> uh, as a woman, I'm really sick of pedophiles. I'm sick of these men fucking these kids because it's like these kids, you know? They're stealing our jobs. Chloe LaBranch. This is your first time on the show, right? Yes. Welcome, welcome. How long you been doing stand-up? Uh, like 11 years when oh. I'm not in rehab. I love it. <laughs> 11 years. And what were you in rehab for? Uh, you know, I'm an alcoholic, but like, I'm not a loser. I'll do pills, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> if you have them, I'll take them. Same? I love it. No, what kind of pills excited. were we doing? What do you have, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I just have testosterone and Cialis, so uh, no. That'll probably get me on JFL, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> JFL's not a thing anymore. Uh, we're bringing it back when I go trans. I, uh, <laughs> that's how you get new faces. <laughs> I love it. Chloe, where are you from? Uh, New York. New York. Do you still live in New York? I do. And uh, what do you do for a living? Paint houses, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite the getup. They did make an all-female Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. This is the reboot of the reboot. Not going to go well. <laughs> Hell yeah. At least was... we know you're not on your period. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's because I'm on Tony's pills, so I don't get it's it true. anymore. <laughs> it's true. Period blockers. <laughs> So, Chloe, you live in New York. How do you make a living? Um, I... Relax. I, uh... <laughs> I actually work for Phoenix. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I, uh, I hold her dick on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's at eye level for you. <laughs> uh, that was good, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> um, just thinking about Phoenix's cock again. <laughs> um, so, what do you do? Oh, <laughs> I um, I'm a part-time assistant. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Part-time assistant. You yeah. make enough money to survive in New York City? Sure. Oh, okay. Well, you sleep in a cupboard, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Incredible. So uh, you're an alcoholic, you say, but you're in recovery. Yes. How long have you been sober? Uh, I just got my first year on June 11th. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. What's the trick? How do you do it? How does someone stay sober? Well, you try for eight years, and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, nobody wants to drink with you anymore, <laughs> including yourself, so that's really it. Amazing. You go to meetings and stuff? Yeah. Keeps you in check? Yes. Do you have, like, a story when at those meetings, like, you have, like, a good story? Like, some people are like, I was driving a car, and, um, and then I, oh, I yeah. saw my baby seat in the back, and it was wrecked or whatever. What's yours? That was it. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, I nailed it. There you go. 
<laughs> no, I have a lot. I could like sell my bottoms on eBay. I got a lot of problems. I uh <laughs> Oh, here's a good one. Yeah. So I was at rehab in Malibu, <laughs> and I, uh, <clears throat> my boyfriend, you, well, we just met, but in rehab you have to get a boyfriend it's immediately. And uh, so he got kicked out because his drug dealer, Baby Doug, threw uh, drugs over the hedge, and then everybody got fucked up. Yeah. What kind of drugs? Again, I'm uh, curious. Xanax and Coke. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah. The best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like giving Drew Nickens a case of it's Red so Bull. Good. It's a hot girl speedball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's also a big fat guy speedball. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I... Uh, should I keep going with the story? 100%. Oh, okay. Yeah, relax. Uh... <laughs> I love it. That's like your catchphrase. Yeah. Everyone needs to relax. <laughs> it's probably me. Uh, I'm always projecting. Um... <laughs> so Zanny and Coke comes over the hedge. Yeah. So I'm fucking this guy right now. <laughs> 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 um, no, he gets kicked out, and then they, we're allowed to have our cell phones at Malibu. It promises it's not a good place. And because uh, they think we're like executives, but so. You're just a part-time assistant. I mean, I met Mariah Carey's a manager there. Pretty big deal for rehab. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Whoa. so then he gets kicked out, and then I'm all upset, so I make this plan. I'm going to run away to see him. So I convince them to take me to the uh, alumni meeting downtown in Malibu where all like the Promises alumni are doing whatever better. Bunch of, uh, bunch of preachy motherfuckers, right? Yeah, so they okay. take my phone and my wallet, and then I have two people watching me who came to watch, and then one turns around, and I run, and uh, I go into Ralph's, and they sell vodka, so I steal a bottle of vodka. You stole it? Yes, because I didn't yeah. have a wallet. Right. <laughs> I you love you, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe don't give a fuck! <laughs> it gets a lot better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So then I got, like, blacked out in this, like, uh, skate park. Amidst, uh, <laughs> As an adult? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm on a list now. Uh, <laughs> no, so then I go back to the meeting, and I have, like, my bottle of vodka, and I start, like, screaming. Can I have a cigarette? And I, <laughs> I start screaming. I'm, like, I walk in the meeting. I'm, like, fuck you, fuck you. You guys don't know what it's like to have a problem. So they call the ambulance, and... <laughs> They make me go to the uh, hospital outside UCLA. And then, like, I get, I get let go from the hospital at, like, 7 a.m. I'm wearing a hospital gown. I have a bag just of, like, Marlboro lights and a crop top. <laughs> and so I don't know what to do, but across from the UCLA hospital are the UCLA frat houses. Uh-oh. Party time. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Let's fucking go. So I walk in, right, and I start <laughs> fucking this guy. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. No, so I knock on the door of uh, SAE, and so I know the code. If anyone wants to know, you just say, Phi Alpha, brother. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I go in, and I'm like, we're in a hospital gown, and they have to let me in because I say the code. I walk in, I'm like, I need a fucking drink. <laughs> and, they give me, like, a beer, and I'm like, come on, don't you have anything harder? And they're like, well, last night we had, like, jungle parties, so, like, we used all the hard alcohol, but we have beer, and the hot girls. I'm like, oh, we're not saying you're not hot, but... So, <sighs> so then I'm, like, drinking a beer, preaching. I'm like, you guys never do drugs, right? <laughs> <laughs> what time of the day is this? 7 a.m. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so then I don't have a phone, so I get one of the. By the way, I boys. can't believe I had to ask. I, I, you're blatantly from New York. This yeah. is incredible. <laughs> the way you're smoking and telling this story. So then another thing. I went up 7 a.m. I'm in LA. I don't want to be there. Fuck them. So I says to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Uh, <laughs> call back. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Chloe, absolutely incredible. So a year I sober. I didn't finish the story. Go on. Uh, <laughs> so then I get one of the frat guys. Uh, he's snorting Adderall before a test. Uh, so and I you're get, like, there's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's a guy I'd like to marry. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get him to call me an Uber back to Malibu. 
Wow. What a gentleman. Hell yeah. <laughs> Spoiled little rich UCLA kid, mm. snorting Adderall, sending you on your way. No sexual interactions? He just got you uh, an Uber to Malibu from UCLA? I wasn't looking too good, Tony. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't want to fuck an Indian guy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they could already smell the alcohol in me. I didn't, I didn't want that, too. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Chloe LaBranch. Amazing. What else are you into? What do you do for fun now that you're sober? I like to go to horror movies. I like to play soccer. Um, what are you, the ball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> uh, it was like, look at us go, you know? It's yeah. like we're like David Tell and Ross right here. Yeah. Yeah. Dibs on a tell. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, Chloe. Absolutely incredible. So what brings you to Austin, Texas? Uh, I was featuring for Corinne Fisher. Nice. At the Creek. Oh, so. awesome. Yeah. And look at you now. Another rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said to Voss, I'm like, I want to go and kill Tony. He's like, as a judge? I was like, no, a contestant. He's like, Jesus. <laughs> Who said that? Rich Voss. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Rich. Yeah. Second name drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rich just wishes he could have as good of a set and interview as you yeah. had here tonight. <laughs> Uh, incredible stuff, Chloe. Very, very amazing. And, I, you know, I said it earlier, but we have all different types of people that come here. There's nothing I think is cooler than when a real comedy vet that knows the fucking ins and outs and their way around an actual improvised interview and following a lead and taking the ball and running with it. And you just did that for 11 and a half minutes. Here's the big joke book. It's made of real Texas leather. There you go, Chloe. There she goes, Chloe LeBranch making her Kill Tony debut, taking a chance, signing up, getting pulled out of the bucket. Amazing. <laughs>